If you want to transfer data from your old phone to Poco F7 Pro, then we can use an app that is pre-installed on Poco F7 Pro and it is called MI Mover. This is the app that we can use in order to transfer data. However, if your old phone is not Xiaomi or Poco or Redmi, you will need to download the app on your old device as well. And it is really easy to do so. We need to simply open the Play Store and search for MI Mover. And this is the app that we need to install on our old phone. Once you do this, you want to open it. So it will look most likely like this. And let's also open the app on our Poco. There we go. Now, of course, over here, we need to select that this is the new device we want to receive items. Now, over here, we can select what is our old device. In my case, it is Android. It is not Xiaomi or Redmi or Poco. So I need to select Android since this is not any of these. So I'm going to choose here. And of course, we get the QR code that we need to use in order. Well, we don't need to, but we can use it in order to install the, the same app that I just mentioned. But since uh, we already got it from the Play Store, we don't, need, we don't really need to do this. We can simply press installed and then we need to press alt on our alt device. And now we are searching for devices. We should be able to detect our Poco F7 Pro on our alt device pretty soon. There we go. So we can tap over here in order to try to connect to make the connection and transfer files. However, if this doesn't help, uh, sorry, if this, doesn't, if this doesn't work, then instead what you can also do is you can connect manually by using this blue text at the bottom. And then over here, do the same thing, connect to the new device, uh, to the old device manually. Over here, we have the details for the hotspot that we need to use in order to connect. So on our old phone, we need to select the Wi-Fi. There we go. This is the network that we need to connect to and enter the password that you have over here. So there we go. Let's press connect. And once we are connected, as you can see, we can immediately select what we want to transfer. So of course we can transfer images, messages, contacts, and calls history, as well as audio, video, and documents and third party apps which you can actually unfold in order to select specifically what we want to transfer. So you can decide what you want to transfer. In my case, I'm just going to choose images. I don't want to transfer anything else, but of course, feel free to do to transfer everything that you need. And then we can press send. Now over here, we need to select these two options and once again, press send. And of course, depending on the amount of files and their size, it might take you a short while or much longer. And there we go. We have the information that the transfer was successful. So here we can press done and here we can also press done. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.